Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool for here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Spa Panzer Lutsch. The Spa Panzer Lutsch is a German 8x8 amphibious reconnaissance armored fighting vehicle that was in service from 1975 to 2009 with the German army, who used 408 in their armored reconnaissance battalions. It was developed by Demmler-Benz between 1968 and 1975, replacing the M41 and the Skutzen Panzer. SPZ 11-2 Kurs. The uh, vehicle itself is pretty cool. I guess you can kind of put it in the same kind of ballpark as, as that of like a Russian BTR, um, kind of an 8x8 vehicle, amphibious capabilities, and has a small auto cannon. except this wasn't much of a troop transporter as it was more kind of designed for a reconnaissance type role, kind of get in, get out quick um, type operations and very easy and uh, quick maneuverability. Um, but it's a pretty cool vehicle and should make a fun addition to your... Um, kind of cold war maps or whatever as a nice kind of german um german vehicle uh before we go ahead and move into the build though i do want to go ahead and give a special thanks to patreon support derek frost westbrook for making this tutorial possible if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you already do feel free to check my patreon page link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so or interview a request you're choosing it really helps support the work i do on my channel is really greatly appreciated so definitely feel free to check that out again link for that is going to always be in my video descriptions with that though, let's go ahead and dive into taking a look at the Spa Panzer Lutsch. So going ahead and getting started with, we have the um, wheelbase here against the 8x8 vehicle, all wheeled, um, which is uh, pretty cool. Always love doing these type of vehicles. It is an amphibious capable, capable vehicle, so you do have the props here on the back um, of the vehicle as well, kind of giving it the ability to propel itself through the water. Uh, we have the kind of hull for it, again, nothing too fancy for it, again, very similar to that of like a BTR, kind of a slanted front, um, and a slanted back, really nothing too crazy. Up on top here, we'd have the hatch for the driver, or the operator, and then we have the uh, turret itself, it had some smoke grade dispensers, a mounted uh, MG up on top, and obviously an auto cannon as well for, um, you know, some actual combat capabilities and then all the details here on the back uh, of this section here really nothing too crazy there um, overall really cool vehicle again should make a cool addition to uh, your worlds as a nice kind of scouting vehicle for um, the german army during the cold war anyways though uh, with that let's go ahead and move into our tutorial by beginning with our first layer all right guys so moving into our first layer we have layer number one for layer one to go ahead and get started with you we're going to place down two polished black stone stairs back to back like so a dark oak trap door on this end stair we're going to go and skip two spaces place down there dark oak trap door and another uh, set of polished black stone stairs like this going forward and actually we're going to go and move the trap doors forward one and they're going to be on that forward stair not that um more rear stair so it's going to look like this here we're going to go and then skip a space and we're going to go ahead and then do the same thing here with our uh wheels like this and then we're going to go and place the trap doors here nor um, toward the will be the back vehicle so facing that way so it's gonna look like this here so again just make sure you have that space of two between the trap doors in total a space of four that's gonna be in between your polished blackstone stairs after that we're gonna go then skip a space of three back we're gonna place down another set of two polished blackstone stairs upside down we're gonna go then space a place down a space of one or skip a space of one and then another set of two polished blackstone stairs back to back we'll just do the same thing here that we did in the front just kind of right here um, so like that, and same thing like this. Basically, once you have that all done, uh, that's going to pretty much create your wheelbase, and that's going to complete everything we have there for layer number one. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to start with, we're going to place down two polished black stone stairs. They're going to be basically um, on top of... Uh, these ups and down stairs that we placed in the previous layer, just back to back, and we're going to go and do this for all eight wheels all the way around the vehicle. After we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall, or sorry, mossy stone brick wall on top of each one of these dark oak trap doors. We'll then take our uh, space in between the front walls and we're gonna place down a row of two of dark oak up sound stairs. And then taking our green terracotta, we're gonna go ahead and fill this in all the way down the middle with uh, basically rows of two. Going ahead and completely closing this area off. And we're gonna go ahead and bring it out all the way one past these last stone brick walls. So it's gonna look like this here on the back. 
We'll then place down some ladders on the side of these blocks here. We'll also take some uh, cut copper or probably prefer preferably waxed so that it does not um, change color. You're gonna place this on both sides here. You'll then grab an item frame as well as a cobweb. And you're gonna place down an item frame on those copper slabs as well as a cobweb in the item frames like that for the little propellers there. After that is all done, we wanna go ahead and then grab ourselves a um, dark prismarine slab and we're gonna place down a top slab here in the space in between these wheels. So kind of in this location here, it's gonna be on the, between the forward uh, two sets and the rear two sets. We'll then place down a dark oak trap door, coming off the sides here and going forward and you go ahead and do the same thing. We'll then place down an item frame on the side of the slabs as well as a green terracotta block in the item frame. Like so. After that's done, we'll then take a dark liquid sign and we're also gonna place down a sign here on the side of these blocks. And again, the sign and the item frame are all gonna be able to be placed together if you are on Java. If you're on a different version other than Java, you'll not be able to place down signs and item frames in the same block space. So you will have to go ahead and just um, placed on the item frame and uh, kind of disregard the sign. But basically this is what we should have so far set up. We're gonna go then place down a green terracotta block in on both sides in that middle space there, as well as a mossy cobblestone wall coming off the sides here um, of those blocks. Or rather, sorry, my bad, uh, a little bit ahead of myself. It's gonna be a row three of green terracotta on both sides. And then it's going to be a uh, mossy cobblestone wall on both sides here and then a green terracotta block. And same thing over here on this side as well. Um, so just make sure, and actually on the left side too, it is going to be a strip spruce wood block. So my apologies on that, uh, but basically it will look like this here from the top down view. Again, um, go ahead and take your time, make sure everything's lined up, everything's looking proper. But that right there is everything we want there for layer two. Uh, one last thing I'm going to mention also is going to be the uh, use of these banners. Now I'm not going to show you guys in a loom how to make them because they're pretty straightforward. But basically all we're doing is we're taking two black banners, we're going to do a green stripe on the right side of one banner. We're going to go and do the third um, not the complete center line split, but it's going to be that kind of one to, that's going to be all off to the side. Um, it's going to be on the right side of one banner and green on the left side of the other one. We'll then take our black, we're going to do a horizontal line across the top and across the bottom there to basically create a banner that looks like this. And what it does is we can place down these two banners here coming off these polished black stone stairs with the green facing toward each other to kind of show a little bit more detail here for the wheels. Um, just kind of helps, you know, spruce them up a little bit. Helps a little bit with the shaping and just kind of the overall detail and appearance. So uh, just a nice little thing to throw in there. And that right there is going to conclude everything we have for layer number two. And with that, we'll move on up to layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to get started with here, we're gonna take our green terracotta. We're gonna place down a row of four all the way across the front here. And we're gonna then place down a row of four of dark oak wood of sound stairs, as well as an item frame to both sides and a snowball in those item frames. We're going to go then place down a uh, deep slate tile to both sides and then a wither skeleton skull coming off those tiles. We'll then take our green terracotta and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of four across as well, followed by a dark oak with top slab to both sides. We'll then take a row of six and we're going to place down a row of six of green terracotta, followed by a dark oak with button at both ends. We're going to go ahead and place down two rows of four of green terracotta and then two dark oak with top slabs again on both sides. Then another uh, row of six of green terracotta, dark oak wood button on both ends. We'll then place down a stripped spruce wood block on the left side here. One, two, three, four green terracotta over. And then a mossy cobblestone wall over here on the right side. We'll then take our green terracotta. We're going to place down another row of six across. This time with, again, a dark oak wood button on both ends. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down two rows of four of green terracotta. We'll then take our dark oak with top slabs. We're gonna place down two top slabs on both sides. Then a row of six of green terracotta, again with a dark oak wood button on both ends. We're gonna go then place down a row of four of green terracotta across, followed with a dark oak with top slab to both sides. Um, after we have that all done there, we're gonna go ahead and then take our um, green or our green terracotta. We're gonna go do a row of two across the middle here, followed by two dark oak with top slabs to the sides. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this uh, slab here. So it's going to sit like that. And then two green terracotta blocks across the center there. Come off the sides here of the stair, we're going to place down a zombie head to both sides. And then continuing on toward the back, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab coming off those stairs. We then want to place down a smooth quartz up sound stair here on the right side and then a dark oak wood up sound stair there on the right side. 
On the upside down stair of Dark Oogly, we're going to place down our item frame with a green terracotta block in the item frame. Again, for Java players, we'll also place down a Dark Oogly sign. If you're not on Java, I will then place down a, or um, rather, if you, both all versions, we're going to place down an item frame on those um, slabs there to the sides. We're going to place down red beds in the item frame, rotated so that the white is facing toward the outsides of the vehicle. And we'll just then place down a Dark Oogly sign on the side there as well of those, um, and frames again if you are a Java player. After that is all done right there, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer 3. Just doing a double check here and everything does appear to be good to go. So yeah, that right there again is going to do it for layer 3. Here is a top down view of what it looks like so far with that layer complete. And with that, uh, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, which will be layer number four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take our green carpet and we're going to place down a row of four across the front here. We then want to go ahead and take our daylight tinters. We're going to place down a row of three across. And after that, we'll then place down a iron bar on both sides. We'll then place down a narrow daylight detector with that on both sides like that as well. And then one, two end portal frames. And then we're going to place down two dark oak slabs. We're going to place down our dark oak slab to both sides. After that, we want to go and then take our green shulker boxes. We're going to place down two green shulker boxes here. And then again, two more end portal frames to the side here like so. We'll then take our dark oak stairs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dark oak stairs. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll then take our green terracotta. And we're going to go ahead and place down a row of four across this space here. A second, a third, and a fourth row. We then want to go ahead and place down a stripped spruce wood log on the left side or the right side there, three blocks over of green terracotta. We're going to go ahead and place down two stripped spruce uh, blocks here, and then two rows of three of green terracotta over to the uh, side there. And actually, real quick, uh, right next to these um, stripped blocks, we're actually going to go ahead and place down green um, shulker boxes. So it's going to look like this here. We'll then take our green terracotta. We're just going to place down a row of four across the space here, and then a second row of four. This uh, second row of four is going to have a dark oak slab on both ends. We'll then take our end portal frames, place down a row of four like that across, and then a daylight detector on both ends. We'll then uh, take our deep slate tiles. We'll place down two slot tiles here, dark oak slab to both sides, and then a row of four of um, daylight detectors across the back. Um, once that's all done, uh, we're going to go in very simply, just place down an air brick fence post on top of this uh, zombie head over here on the right side and the right side only and we'll leave that as, as is for right now. Um, anyways though, that is going to pretty much wrap up that up and for a little bit of extra detail in here on the sides of the vehicle, um, you can go ahead and actually throw in some um, tools mounted on the side here. And real quick, just before we do, I do wanna go ahead and mention also that on the dark oak stair, that's gonna be kind of that middle point, so right by, right above this uh, mossy cobblestone wall and right behind, right above that stripped spruce wood that you saw, uh, and this stair here, we're gonna place down a dark oak sign on the side of we then want to go ahead and uh, place down two item frames here. We're going to place down an iron shovel, rotated sideways, and then like that. And then also we can do the same thing back here, place down two item frames and kind of rotate these sideways like that on the side there of the vehicle. Um, so pretty simple stuff, nothing too crazy, but just kind of adds a little bit of extra detail and um, all that. Anyways, though, that is going to include everything we have there for layer four. With that, we'll probably just move into our layer, final layers here, layers five through eight. All right, guys, moving into our final layers, we have layers five through eight. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down two green terracotta blocks. They're going to be directly here in this middle, so it's going to be on that third row of four, kind of in this middle section here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab some dark oak stairs. We're going to place down two dark oak stairs back to back. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then grab an item frame. And we're going to place down an item frame here on the front of the stairs, as well as a green terracotta block coming off the item frame. And we then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak sign over the side here of the stair, again for Java players. We'll then go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak fence gate. We're going to place it down here to the side on this uh, right stair. And we're going to then go forward with one, two, three end rods. And then on the very tip here, we're just going to go ahead and place down a um, zombie head like so for our cannon. And just a little side note here is that the turret is normally centered in the vehicle. As you can see, the turret itself is centered, but the gun isn't. That's just kind of a thing that we had to do just due to it being an even number wide. So just keep that in mind. That's kind of the reason why this is uh, like how it is. So anyways, though, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head here like this at a 
you know, angle like that to both sides. And we'll then take our spruce trapdoors and we'll place down two trapdoors across the space there for the hatch for the driver. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down two green terracotta blocks here. And then to the sides of those blocks, we're going to place down some green stained glass panes. And then on the very back here, we're also going to take dark oak with trapdoors and close those like so. After that is all done, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak stair on top of this block here. We'll then place down a dark oak slab here. And we'll also grab a spruce wood slab, place it here, and then a dark oak wood fence key that's going to go right here and this is going to open up toward the back. For the uh, smoke grenade dispensers, um, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some, um, I don't believe candles can actually be, actually candles can be placed on here, so we will actually use candles on top of these uh, glass panes. So go ahead and use the candles here instead, they definitely look better for smoke grenade dispensers than our wither skeleton skulls. So just place that on both sides there for those dispensers. Then up top here for our um, machine gun, uh, we're going to place down a deep slate tile that's going to go on top of the slab here. We then want to place down a zombie head coming off the tile going back. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a wither skeleton skull like this going forward. And coming off the wither skeleton skull, we're going to place down a chain like so to go ahead and make our gun. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head here on the uh, left side there to um, form that upper machine gun there. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then grab our deep, or sorry, our waxed weathered co copper slabs. That's a mouthful right there to say. Uh, we're gonna place down these two slabs here and then one going back and then we're gonna place down a zombie head here at about a 45 degree angle in that corner space like so. After that's done, we're gonna go ahead and then place down a item frame which is gonna go on top of this space, sorry, this space right here. And then there's gonna be a green terracotta block in the item frame and then to the side of that, we're gonna place down a spruce wood trap door. We'll also go ahead and grab ourselves some flower pots and we're gonna place down two flower pots, one, two right here. And also we're gonna place down flower pots on top of these iron bars here in the front for the uh, little kind of uh, side mirrors. After that, going ahead and continuing on to the back here, we're gonna go ahead and grab a polished uh, deep slate wall. We're gonna place it here on top of this stair on the left side. And we're just gonna go ahead and place down one, two, and three iron bars going up. Then going ahead and going on top of this narrow brick fence post, we're gonna place down an iron bar. We're gonna go ahead and then go back and kind of up at an angle, and then we're gonna place down one more iron bar on top of that. And then back here, we're just gonna place down a um, iron bar that's gonna kind of be on top of this, or coming off this, uh, basically coming off this uh, daylight detector. And then we're gonna place down another iron bar up. We're gonna go then go up and back like so at an angle, and then again, same thing, one more iron bar up like that. So that right there will basically create our radio antennas there on the back of the vehicle as well. And with that, uh, the last thing we really have to do here is, or one of, the one of the last things, is we can go ahead and grab an item frame, a black bed, we can place it on this slab here, rotate this, or that bed row sideways in the item frame, and we'll also place down a dark wood sign on the side of this if you're on Java. Uh, one thing also to mention here is that um, if you are on Java, we can go and type in the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So you get this glowing stick here. We can actually left click the stair until we get selected shape. And we can actually go ahead and alter the shape here. So we turn this into a corner stair. And we'll just do this for both sides so that it kind of looks like this here, forms the front and just kind of creates a better overall shape here for the front of the turret. Again, something that's not completely necessary, but just kind of helps improve the overall look there for um, at least travel players. Anyways though, that right there is going to conclude everything we have for uh, this tutorial and for layers five through eight. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial here for the spa pads or luch and are able to put good use. If you do use this design, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a sound of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to for a project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Foss Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description. With that, though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.